<laughs> Hello everyone, Kree here, bringing you back like a little top lane, and today we are laning again. Oh, I missed that one. You know what? Oh, I was hoping she would only get, you know, one minion there, but you know what? It's whatever. But yes, we are laning against a Quinn. Well, the runes are currently going into this chick are... My mind blanked. Conqueror, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand. Then we have Shield Bash plus Second Win, all right? So, uh, yeah, Quid, not obviously a very fun matchup early on. She'll auto E me, cancel my auto attack, do all that damage, proc or press the attack, proc. It's not, look, it's not looking fun, right? It, for sure is it fun. W, oh, I should have kept moving to the right. I mean, left, I would have dodged it. That's whatever, though. So, what are, we looking, what are we currently looking at? Early levels, you are... You're not a champion into Quinn. It sucks. If they take E level 1, I guess you could try e them level 1. But I personally don't think Camille E level 1 is just not good at all. We're actually get to Quinn who has TP instead of Ignite. Which is actually very, very not standard. But I'll take it. What is your E range? My god. We'll do that. She's hitting into my shield. That's still a lot of damage. God damn. <laughs> what was that? Uh, could I have committed to her there? Maybe, maybe not. But it is what it is. I'm just going to simply wait for level 3. But yeah, that damage was a little... I'm surprised her E range was as far as it was. That's what I meant to say. Because uh, I didn't expect to get hit there. But I did. And well, that was just... Unfortunate. <laughs> That's all it was. That was just simply unfortunate. I didn't expect that. So, one thing to know in this Quinn matchup is that once you're level 3, it's an even footing. You have to have very fast reacting time because your E does cancel her own E. That is a very, 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 very important to note. W her there. Nice. Good trade just like that. Unfortunately, she didn't take a turret shot, which would have been peachy, but uh, it wasn't the case, sadly. So we do happen to get a first one on the mouth. Uh, we are roaming all the way over here. They should be able to pick up this kill on Pantheon. You love to see it. Is Quinn looking for a TP? Probably not. He's likely looking for a TP mid No, that's Malphite's TP mid lane. So where is Quinn? Did she just reset? Yeah, I guess she did. And they do pick up a kill on the Hecarim. Quinn actually TP down. It's not looking good for her so far, if I do say so myself. She's trying to pick up a kill. Has to flash away. Does hit the vault. Does she get out one more auto attack from the Flish with an auto attack? Flish from the Fizz. Wait, is it my Fizz? Fiddle. There you go. From the Fiddle with an auto attack. And just like that. Five kills. The enemy team has basically been ace. It's not looking good. My god, that was just so unfortunate. She really thought she could like 1v9 or something. Against like, I don't know, wind wall, knock up, fear. Like, that, it doesn't work like that, love. <laughs> Very unfortunate for them. I've been like, I, I, can't, I almost said if I do say so myself again. Not gonna lie, it is a phrase I do say a lot. I don't know why. Why, why, did, why did that stick to me? Was it because of a. Hmm. Thinking about the lore of where that came from. I might have to say it came from a PokeTuber. I want to say, but I'm not entirely sure. But that doesn't matter. I can get into that on stream or something. But anyways, um, yes, I do stream five times a week. If you want to catch me live, link will be at the very top of the stream below. I stream five times a week. As for when, as for if it's like Monday through Friday, it's not guaranteed like consistent five days a week. It could be Monday through Thursday, then Friday I'm off, and then you'll see me back on Saturday. I don't have a given setup yet, it's, but yeah, regardless, it is five days a week, which is pretty cool. If you are part of my Discord server, you do get notified of when I do go live, which is pretty cool. That's really good damage. When Quinn doesn't have vault like this, I can look for a fight. I think I can just all in. Yep. <laughs> I think I can just all in just like that, baby. Let's go. Not bad. So, yeah. Like I said, this matchup, it's an even playing field. When Quinn wastes her E key, well, I mean, to be fair, she was just standing still. I guess she was looking bot lane or something. But when, you wait, when she wastes her E key and you still have your E up, you can tip the all in her. Without her E key or flash key, she has no way of realistically getting away from you, which is very, very, very important. So very good stuff, just like that. We're able to all in her. And then we'll obviously just keep doing our thing and just keep going to Triforce. Into a team like this where they have basically five squishy champions, I like to go Triforce. Now, obviously, they look like they might have a tank Malphite. And Hecarim should definitely go Bruiser. We already get to Squishy Champion. I could go Divine Sunder, which honestly wouldn't make it any worse. Like, Divine Sunder, I can't build into Quinn and still 100 to her. Not as fast as Triforce, obviously, but it still works. So, fight is currently breaking down over here. Uh, he does happen to pick up... To me! Alright, we'll see you later, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I might find Hecarim over here. Where'd he go? Hello? Oh, he's over here! Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna recall here, then. Because I, I, I can't do that. I'll get perma-chain CC'd and I'll just die. 
Uh, Yone does not have TP. Looks like they are pathing towards here. They are coming towards her. She needs to do this play really fast. Mm. Do I TP for her? I don't think I do. I think if I TP, she still does regardless, so good luck. <laughs> and she actually ends up getting she actually ends up getting 1v1, so that's just really bad. Yeah, Halo Blades is very strong. But that was just very bad on her trying to make a dive that just simply wasn't gonna work out considering he had sums up, right? She should have known he had sums up anyways. So this guy's 2 HP. This looks like to be a free kill from Fiddle. He's just gonna R over this wall, and it's gonna be free. Ring over. And that's all she wrote. Yeah, unfortunately, it was control word and not much he could really do. Top wave is currently still pushing towards it, which is fantastic. Unfortunately, I was standing still, which really sucks. My bad. Mm, he should be fine. He's walking around in his flippers. Ooh, the cannon's alive. Nice. I was actually afraid I was going to miss the cannon because I stood still quite a bit. But yeah, so what you can do against Quinn is you can easily E her E or you can ult her E. Ulting her E is obviously a lot harder because if you're in melee range, of course, then it will be significantly hard to do. But if you are in just a uh, close range, then you can easily do it. Like that. Look at that. And now, genuinely, she should lose this trade. Auto Q. Bye bye. <laughs> just like that. E her E, and she just simply can't do anything, right? Just a nice little all in. By the way, yes, I did Q to a minion. That minion was looking at me real funny, so I had to take care of it before I had to move, up, move on over to, Qu to Quinn, alright? Like, come on, I, I was smoothing all over the place. I could easily take care of that cast remain or melee remain. I wasn't paying attention. I just know it was looking at me funny, so I had to take care of it real quick. You feel me? I think you guys feel me. So it was 8 to 1, now it's 12 to 6. It looks like my team has thrown away quite a bit of shutdowns, and the enemy team is making a small comeback, which is actually pretty good. That's just Oblivion Orb. I actually like that. Not gonna lie, because we do have quite a bit of sustain in our team. Did they late swap? Well, if they late swap. Might suck a little bit because I haven't gone Divine Sunder yet. <laughs> I have been going Triforce the entire time. I mean, Triforce isn't bad into tanks anyways, but Divine Sunder is obviously better because you win sustained fights into tanks, right? Balin is no longer winning 2v2s, which is really bad. Actually, excruciatingly bad. We'll see you later, buddy. <laughs> this is not the see you later I was talking about, man. Oh, fucking ever. What can I do about that? Man, he's so fat all of a sudden. Oh, hit the knockup. Nice. Look at that. What a play coming from the Gragas. He loved to see it. Am I going to go Divine Sunder here? I think I... Hmm. I think I might honestly have to. Remember the Collins of not going it. Like, if I went... If I went Trinity Force this game, it's to actually just limit test it at this point. Let's pick up the kill there. It would be the limit test. And I think I kind of want to limit test at this point. Picking up Triforce into two tanks with but three squishies. How does that feel is my question. And well, I'm about to answer that question right now. I do think Thunder is definitely would have been the way to go this game. But at this point, I've already committed. I have I was literally sitting on the dagger. I guess I could have sold the dagger, obviously, but why would we waste gold like that, you know? Why would we simply waste gold like that? So we are gonna place a nice little control ward over here. We are gonna drop a nice regular ward over here to see if Hecarim is currently on this. And he is not, so that's pretty cool. Let's see how's you gonna do one, two, 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 four, two, five, three. So we did have an immense lead that unfortunately was... We still have a gold lead regardless, but the gap has been obviously closed a little bit. It has gone smaller. Has it gone bigger? Unfortunately, it has gone smaller because my team is a... Uh, very... It's not that fun, I guess. <laughs> I don't know how someone to put it. It was unique. It was special. They made some sequence of plays that just simply didn't work out. Just leave. We see you. <laughs> no, you don't. True. Can you work towards this? Harold would be absolutely beautiful if you'd love to play off that, my good sir. But for now, we are going to play a little bit passive because I don't know where Hecarim is. Could be top side. Could be bot side. We don't know, so we play passive. Do I have water? I do. Mmm. That has some really good water. I missed two minions just to drink it, but wow, do I feel so much better after drinking it. Jesus Christ. Still don't know where Hecarim is, so we are going to continuously play passive. I do know that she's playing passive, which could mean that Hecarim's not top it, or it could mean that she's actually trying to bait for her boy. So I do want to be a little bit careful. Uh, they might be trying to three-man my guy here. Mm, I'm going to be careful. Hecarim and Quinn could be there. Alright, there's Hecarim. I don't have TP. Quinn is actually rotating right here. So right now, what we're going to do is we're going to hard jump as hard as we can. Um, Gragas looks like he's gonna go down as well. Quinn does make a good rotation happy. She does happen to make up. Does get two assists, which is actually really good on her part. Not gonna lie, she does TP back topside. Nice, really good job. 
Why are you thinking me? <laughs> Why are you thinking me? What? The Quinn Rome's I ping. Quinn Rome's I ping. What more do you want? <laughs> Quinn Rome's that I ping. What more do you want me to do? Alright, but yeah. I did not know if Hecarim would stay topside or not. They do. He actually does get a shutdown, which is huge. He goes one for one under a turret, and I'm actually going to run straight the mid lane. Uh, Hecar? That's really important to note. Does Hecarim have ulti? Yes. I'm assuming he means, yeah, he used it. Uh, I am walking straight over here. I got you, buddy. He does have ulti. Flashy flash. Nice. Man, you were a thief. I just gave you the best shotgun of your life. <laughs> Man, he's even giving you the Raptors. Come on, brother. But yeah, as you saw right there, we just simply went for the E flash E combo right there. Flash off the wall so that we can extend our E range and actually hit it. So that works out beautifully. Beautifully indeed, we do pick up an Ocean Drake, which is also pretty nice. Uh, I'll be taking that. Ouchies, that hurts. And I'll be moving away. <clears throat> Yone should win. I'd hope he'd win the 1v1. There's no way he shouldn't. Yeah, just up the wave. I can't deal with this. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Because, like I said, I literally can't deal with it. Uh, hey, man. See you later. <laughs> hey, dude, I'll see you later. That could have been really bad. I'm pretty sure that comes around if he's making a play like that, right? So, Ninja Tabby definitely will be the item of choice. Boot of choice. 3, 3, 4 auto attack based champions. Pretty cool stuff. Let's walk up, take this. Auto Q. Auto Q. How's it going, buddy? Mm, we're not going to make that play. Fiddle needs ult for us to actually ever make that play. Swallow this up hold. Nice, nice, yummy, yummy uh, honey fruit. Quinn is right around here. Well, good luck, Fiddle. Ooh, good job. I mean, like I said, see you later. Like, not much I can really do about that. Not much I can realistically do about that. I know Hecarim is around, so I can't just... So I assume Hecarim is coming to me, but no, he just went straight to my fiddle. Also, I do know that Malphite is roaming, so there's just not much I can really do about that. Buy Tabby here, and we're going to go back topside. Now that I have Tabby, I am golden. I am peachy. She actually won the 1v1 for, no, for once, which is actually really good stuff. Finally. Oh, she finally got Shield Bow. Yeah, that makes sense now. So, I'm going to assume that Hecarim is currently on Herald. Because there's nothing else I should assume right now. Man, I just really wish we had any type of vision. Which would have been peachy. Um, I would have ulted afterwards. Like, once he got brought back under turret. That's when I would have ulted. Or he could have just ulted straight up instead of just simply pressing his E key. Which also would have been equally as smart. Well, actually smarter. But unfortunately, he greeted thinking his E key would be enough. But alas, it simply was not. I do have TP coming up in 40. Mm, Fiddle's literally, literally running it. It's so sad. It's so sad how my team is playing this game. They're actually, they're, they're literally running it. When I say they're running it, they're actually running it. We had such a huge lead and just gave away 10,000 shutdowns for free, I guess. It's kind of sad, I'm not going to lie. Do have TP coming up. I'm just going to keep pushing topside. I mean, whatever. He has Ignite. If he does have Ignite, I can actually turn it and one-shot Quinn. But he does have Ignite, so it's whatever. Are they really losing this? Yeah, they are. Where's Yone? There you are, buddy. He does have oh, amazing OT coming from the Gragas. Hit your Q3, baby. Nice. That was his Gale Force. I thought he just I thought he just whiffed really hard. That would have been pretty sad. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, actually, if he did have Ignite, I was actually gonna go for the one shot onto the Quinn there. But alas, Ignite, Pantheon OT. What can you do, right? That suck. It is what it is. Quinn actually has a shutdown, which is actually pretty good for me because I can hold her Zerha, like I said. That is gonna be the plan. I'm gonna TP in. She sticks around long enough. Oh? Nice. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Not bad if I do say so myself, good sir. Once again, he's taking the, another shutdown from me. Which kind of sucks, but whatever. Jeez, you almost ruined it with that TP. LOL. Hey, man. I, I need something. <laughs> I would love something. Well, you just, you're greedy. <laughs> Takes every shutdown for himself. Anyways. We are going to go towards a Ravnus Sergeant into a Death Stance. The majority of the damage is 4 AD, so that's going to be pretty good. I should sit on the Chain Vest. That actually would help tremendously. Harold does not exist for my... Uh... Q2. <laughs> you 
Yeah, I just gotta hit my 500 true damage real quick, you know? It's, it's, it's pretty nice if I do say so myself. He does ult in place, thinking he could get away in time, but nope, not gonna happen, buddy. And now we're finally make the- I'm finally making run place. Uh, we are gonna drop this ward over here, that way we get vision of people rotating left and right. I'm right here, give it to me. Let's do this. When Jake comes in 40 seconds, we can easily do this in time. 100%. Q2. Not bad. Can I recall in time to move to Drake? I'm pretty sure I can. Moffat does not have his ultimate. It should be coming up shortly, though, but he doesn't have it for now. He should be fine down there. Auto Q2. W. Auto. Nice. We got this. Huge. I'm going to pick this up real quick. And we're just gonna sh we're just gonna break mid. Everyone is there's currently quite a bit of people bot like ooh he lives. Yeah, they're all bot lane right now. Let's use this. Three bots are right now as you guys try to apply all that pressure. Well, you know, we're just simply gonna go be going for turrets now. Yes. You may have shut him down, but alas, it was not enough. Where's Shelly okay? Q2, Zap HP, W, one more hit. Nice! Oh, I'm 1 HP! Oh, there's a red- Yeah, I should've flashed the comment. It's whatever. Man, Hecarim took negative damage. <laughs> Actually, negative damage. He brought Conquer instantly or something. I'm not entirely sure. Gragas is cosplaying red buff. <laughs> He's actually cosplaying red buff. That's pretty cool, I guess. Let me click now. Who are you? Are you the Gragas? No. It's the ADC. I'm not surprised, honestly. So, majority of damage is obviously AD, physical, Pantheon, nuked. We also got hit by a Draven ulti twice, which is really signing. Like I said, I'm going to sit on the chain vest and we are going to keep going to Ravenous Archer. Early chain vest is good into like quad AD or five, pen 5 AD. Makes you take the most damage, right? Makes you tanks the mo most amount of damage, which is pretty cool stuff. So, I'm going to spin bot side and do my thing. Uh, my team does have peel. I, I mean, the only peel we have. See, that's the thing. Splitting this game would be phenomenal just because no one could do it in the asylum 1v1. Especially Hecker once I get my sustain item. Well, Tally Spice bro. Once I get the stance, I could deal with them. But the enemy team has such a good engage onto my team, and I can easily get picked by Pantheon. Which is literally the only issue, but I don't see any other way we're gonna realistically win this game without making picks or side lane pressure. I think that's the only way we are gonna win. Uh did we steal Inferno? Wait, who's here? Why is there a Malphite here, man? Please win this fight. Oh my god, thank you. Why the fuck are they set three people for me? Jesus Christ. This is the family unit I wasn't expecting, guys. Thanks. But yeah, as you saw right there, even just because Hector held his ultimate, I was able to 1v2, right? And, actually able, and I was able to get out of her. But unfortunately, there was a Malphite. He has our... Well, there's a shield bow. Good job. No, our heck. He doesn't have ultimate. They should win this. Uh, yup, 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 yup. She stood still for some reason. I don't know why she stood still, but she did, so he kind of... No. She kind of died. She could have just kept walking away, and it would have worked out, but she just stood still, sadly. That's fine, though. Let's start moving over here, and we can... Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can. I'm just gonna make my way over there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got scammed, not gonna lie. Hmm. I'm just gonna walk straight mid, I guess. Another step on the march of progress. I am out of patience. People start moving this way now. Hmm. That's huge. How's it going, Quinn? W, not bad. Can I get a Q2? Yes, I can. And we're going to finish the Baron. Oh, nice and beautiful. Um, He is looking for it. I'm looking for Hecarim right now. That's who I want to zone. We should be here very close now. Hey, stop that. <laughs> no, no, no. You will not take my friend. You can do this. I have ult. Not a Q. My R prevents his R from reaching, yeah. I will say that right now, so my team is aware <laughs> for next time. I think I honestly might want to get an early death stance if I'm being real. 
Like, sitting on my parrot scepter for life steal was great, and then I could just pick up Death Dance that I went that way I can uh, get this effect going and just, you know, take it 35% of their damage as a burn so I can actually sustain, you know? Very good stuff. Play for that. Sure, buddy. I'm gonna take that. That's all you, Yone. That's all you, buddy. I got you. I'm a, you know, I took one, but I'll, I'll leave another one for you. How about that, my friend? And then we can take this over together. Look at that. We're kind people. Yes, we are. Ulting over the wall. That's going to be an amazing play. Good job. Traven. Nice Gale Force, buddy. Really good item. Really good item. By the way, may I say, I hate that item with the passion. That item is so, 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 so broken. It's incredibly broken. I hate it. I'm. They are going to nerf it to 90 seconds, which is beautiful. It's the nerf I've been waiting for. They are going to nerf it to where it's a 90 second cooldown instead of 60, which is amazing. Because that item is... I don't know. It's a free dash on any dashless ADC, which is amazing, right? That's disgusting. Not to mention, it does damage, and it does more damage when you're below 50%. It's insane to me. I was so tilted off that mid play. But yeah, that's me in the end of the game. So, did you... Actually, I wouldn't even have to... Yeah, let's check out the damage charts. You know, let's check out the damage charts real quick, because there's no reason not to, you get me? Yeah, you guys get me. Who am I going to give it to? I'll give it to Fiddle. Thunder, sad, McGee. I'm sorry you're sad, but Thunder is nice. Mm. My LP is not looking good. I was, like, when I let when I off last stream, I was, like, 80 or 50-something. Then I dropped all the way down to D10 LP. But, hey, I'm making the climb back up, which is pretty cool, so, you know, that's okay. Uh, You know... You can't be number one in everything. I mean, it, in fact, in certain scenarios, being number one is actually bad. So, yeah. I mean, that game, I, I haven't been... So, basically, this game is... So, basically, we had a lead early game, right? And the only way that lead was lost is because they're playing an enemy team comp that heavily flourishes on roams, right? Making picks, roaming, roaming as five. Now, I am playing Camille versus a Quinn. I can't follow her. <laughs> All right. She presses R. She's ten she's flying at the speed of light. I don't have TP. I can't do the same thing with Eki. It's not as good. So I just all I can simply do is shove and you know ping in my A. And when I ping in my A, they still die to her. Right? Kind of sucks. Not to mention they also tried going for a bunch of plays that weren't in groups. It was like in twos when they should have been doing in threes or four because we were definitely stronger early game. Right. So, you know, strength and num numbers and whatnot, if they're doing very risky plays as two people instead of three or four, then it can easily backfire, which is what exactly happened, because the enemy team, well, they have a lot of CC, right? Malphite ult, Hecarim E into ult, uh, Pantheon W, and yeah, Draven can follow up with his ultimate, Quinn is easily roaming at the speed of light, right? That's simply why the game went awry, because, well, my team just got caught 24-7. Making really bad plays, but we are we were able to bring it back, which is pretty cool. So, did you play? Like, button, comment, and subscribe to see you guys next video. Peace, peace. By the way, sorry the video was late, but it is what it is. Bye bye.